Hello, my name is Kagan, and I'm 20 years old from Louisville, Kentucky. And at a young age, uh, my parents got a divorce, and then in fourth grade, I went to a birthday party. And at that birthday party, I was raped by several men. Sometime after that, I was raped by an older woman. And after those things happened to me, I was left a little boy confused and trying to figure out which sexual path to take. Didn't have an answer, didn't feel comfortable enough to go to someone and talk about it. And so I ended up giving into deception. And I, be- and I was believing that I was supposed to pursue the sexual relationships with men and women. So from about fourth grade to about two and a half years ago, I'm just giving myself away sexually, trying to find love and trying to find affirmation. And then in middle school and high school, finding myself drunk at parties on the weekends, found myself addicted to drugs. And really all I was trying to do was satisfy this crying void inside of me trying to comfort a little boy that was hurt at a young age, trying to put affirmation and love in myself, but it wasn't working. Drugs, being mean to people, cool clothes, sexual relationships, it wasn't working. And I remember going, I remember laying in my bed with tears running down the side of my face, not wanting to be gay. Not wanting to be addicted to drugs, not wanting to think this way, to feel this way, but I didn't know a way out. And I remember just desperately in need of a change. And then my mom convinced me to come to an Eddie James concert. (laughs) And I sat on the fourth row back. And I saw the love and the passion that these people had for this man named Jesus. And I didn't understand it because I thought God hated me. That I was going to hell for my lifestyle. And that he wanted nothing to do with me. But that night, with tears running down the side of my face, I was set on a journey. A journey to find who this Jesus that they had was. And so I tried to get into the church. And for some time, I ended up knowing the church and not this man named Jesus. Found myself going through the motions, lifting my hands, coming to an altar, but not meeting him there. And I'm telling you, I was a gay dude. I I had long hair. I wore the skinny jeans. I wore makeup. And I ran around a church, swishing my legs and and doing all these feminine things and not having one father in the church say, son, I want to help you. You're obviously struggling. And I need to show you what it's like to read your word, show you what it's like to prayer. I didn't have that. And I wanted that. And so this father ended up getting in contact with me and said, you can join my team. You you know, you need freedom. You can join my team. And I came to, to, to meet the team. And I came to an altar like this one. And the silver and gold he said I don't have, but the such as I have rise up and walk. I received that power. This gay dude, he didn't need money. He didn't need cars. He didn't need a coffee shop in the back, but he needed power from Holy Spirit and that morning I met this man named Jesus and Holy Spirit filled me and he set me free from homosexuality and from drug addiction I stand on this platform two and a half years sexually pure two and a half years haven't touched drugs and I've been burning for this man named Jesus (laughs) I've been speaking to a generation saying there's purity in you there's destiny and power and saying Jesus is your hope. So Father, I pray because the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I prophesy that in 2012, thousands upon thousands of homosexuals will be introduced to your life, introduced to your heart, introduced to freedom. He, who the sun sets free, is free indeed. I rebuke and bind sexuality and drug addiction in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for the perfect love perfect love from you Papa that transforms minds and transforms hearts to be released over America this year in the name of Jesus
Oh, come on, somebody celebrate the King. Celebrate the Lord, the Savior, the Deliverer, the one who sets the captives free.